Anyway, we haven't uh, we haven't caught up with the King Cobra in a while. I mean, I'm pretty sure the last thing I saw was the uh, the the shout outs that people paid him to uh, do for me. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it, everyone. So let's see what that little fella's been up to. We've got from Bogloom Chronicles here for editing this down because I got to be honest, I think from his recent videos, like, is he using the phone again that, like, had that audio issue? I have no idea. I don't really keep tabs off hours. <laughs> but, uh... He's, I, I was like, oh, he's got a food hack thing, but the audio is horrendous. So hopefully this has it all nice and fixed. Dur Bud Light Doritos Chimichanga. Uh, no clue what this is going to be, but it's a nice it's a nice quick one here. So uh, this one's rough. Can't wait. Can't wait. No spoilers now. <sighs> Let's see. Why do I know this song? Is this... Is this from a Sonic game? I well, shouldn't wear this hat. Do. We got our pan turned <laughs> onto a medium. We're going to take some butter. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. So slow it down. Slow it down. We got the pan medium. Okay. Some country crock going in it. So slow it down. Crock original. I'm going to slap it in there. Country crock original as opposed to what? Zesty? I don't know. Slap it in there. Then we need a shit ton of butter for our little uh, deal here. For our deal? Yeah, we got that in there. Why are you forking the butter right now? This poor pan. Let that do its thing. We're gonna add some Bud Light. Oh, a perfect combination. Burning oil and a Bud Light. A little bit of that Bud Light. All right, all right. Now we're gonna take some left. Well, we're just, oh, so we're just cooking the Bud Light and butter? Just over ponchos and we're gonna make a bomb ass burrito. We're frying up the Bud Light. out of it. You say ponchos? All right, ponchos, and we're gonna. All right. Now we're gonna take some leftover ponchos, and we're gonna make a bomb ass. Is that is that like a? Did you like get food from a place you ordered it, or are you throwing like a a, a dang slicker in there? Burrito out of it. <laughs> All right. But now we have it in our bag. And we're gonna fry the burrito up in this uh, butter. Oh, goodness. okay. So you know, uh, step two: purchase an entire burrito. Okay. Chimichanga it a little bit. Yeah. Get that butter nice and melted. That, that's what's up. Shoot. Okay. YouTube. Look at the size of this fucking burrito, YouTube. It's ridiculous. I, 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 I can't see the burrito. YouTube, it's ridiculous. Show me YouTube. Show burrito. Look at the size of this fucking burrito, YouTube. <laughs> I it's literally ridiculous. cannot see it. That looked like a stick of butter. Uh, can you see that? YouTube, let me show you the goods. Let me show you the goods, damn Show it. me Look the at goods. That. Look at that fucker, dude. I can, literally fucker cannot fucker see it. That is a burrito, okay? You see this <laughs> Back up. up. Back That's up. A There's a hole in it. We're gonna drop it. That is a seals. moderate sized burrito, I gotta be honest with you. Side in first. See where the seal is at right there. Are there are boggling noises when it's done. Oh, there God. Stick it. Now, the goal for this is to make well, the burrito. Ewa, Ewa Davis. Cadence Florida, thanks for following. Welcome going. How you doing? Okay, he's dropping it in the Bud Light butter. Now, the goal for this is to make the burritos, or the burrito, you know, nice and golden brown. So we're gonna try to chimichanga. Why don't you just deep fry it at this point? And make it uh, look tasty. For also, you. where how does the Bud Light fit into this? Do you just soaking the tortilla with Bud Light also at the same time? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is pretty good by itself. You know, you can't fry things in Bud Light. You, uh, <laughs> you got leftover Mexican. I'm pretty food sure. In a, uh, pan with some butter and some beer, and uh, you know. I'm pretty sure you can't get Bud Light up to a temperature for the uh, whatever browning effect. Oh. He's just pressing down on it now, make sure it gets a nice crust. Put a little bit, a little bit of beer on top. How many gift subs get you watch this documentary? You mean just like watch the entire thing on stream? Are you talking about that one from like years and years ago? Or are you talking about like one of the many ones bite size is doing constantly? 
Just a little sprinkle of that on top. Not a whole lot. A little extra Bud Light is a nice uh, baste, basting it with some Bud Light. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> that extra basting of Bud Light on top. Make sure you really soak that tortilla. You want it to you want it to penetrate the tortilla. You want to get that Bud Light deep into this filling. That's enough beer for our burrito. Perfect amount. Perfect not quite amount. Not according to plan. And I'm not liking this. It's starting oh. to fall apart. Oh no. Oh no. I I, he's, he's, it's like it's like one of those uh food network challenge shows like I didn't get it all on the plate. It's falling apart on me. I already fucking see it. Lovely. You like his collar? Like he's I a good boy. To. I'll just delete the fucking video and then I won't post it. Oh my. That's all you can do, right? God. Oh my god, he's really flustered right now. Just delete the fucking video. Not post it. This is hot, greasy. I'm gonna put it on the plate. How could it be falling apart? He just soaked it in Bud Light for probably 20 minutes. It looks fine. You did a good job there, kid. A little crispy on there, not too crispy. It, you know, you know, you're countering the crispiness by covering it in Bud Light. The Bud Light doesn't get nice and crispy. It just evaporates. I don't want it to fall apart, so. Just enough to get it lightly crispy, okay? Want to sprinkle on some of that cheese? Oh, some of that my nice, God. Uh, oh, we're topping cheese. it with cheese. Oh, oh, he's turning a burrito into a chimichanga. Oh. All right, on top of our chimichanga. He bought a burrito, and he was like, you know what would go great with this? Turning it into a chimichanga. Nacho cheese. Oh, of course, the, the, the nacho cheese Doritos on top of the cheese. I'm sure there's cheese in the burrito as well. What's the now difference? Just... Honestly, I'm not sure. I just remember a chimichanga being like a wrapped thing, and it's like covered in sauce. It's like soaked in some nice sauce, like a tomatoey kind of sauce. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's like a pepper sauce. It's like a red sauce, and I guess there's. I've seen some cheese on top before. I'm sure there's slight differences in what's in it and stuff. Dorito for a nice crunch. Yeah. Microwave, and we're going to melt the cheese all over the top. Of Why are you wrapping up that little bit? Why don't uh, you just just finish off those Doritos? Here, whatever you want to call it, food hack. It's deep fried. That burrito so far, ladies and gentlemen. That's just, dude, that's ridiculous. I could have done with some more Doritos, in my opinion. Ridiculously good. Okay. What's an enchilada now, then? A little bit of heat. We're gonna take our leftover poncho sauce, and we're gonna. Just I don't know. <laughs> You're talking about a wet burrito? Then what the fuck is a chimichanga? Okay, now this has opened up a can of worms, hasn't it? You've got some explaining to do, Latin cuisine, huh? Who's gonna get started here explaining? Off too before I dig into it, to be honest, because it's gonna be a little hot, fresh out of the microwave. What's a chalupa? I believe that's a small boat. Fresh off the uh, the pan. In presentation, <laughs> really hard to drink some of the sauce on the side here. Oh. Mm. Oh my god, he just did a fucking line of sauce right off the side like that? Brother, what are we doing? Out of the microwave, fresh off the, uh, the pan. In presentation, really, I have to drink some of the sauce on the side here. That shit hitting. Mm. <laughs> Look at it. Mm. Look at it. Refreshing. Mm. Oh my god, not a paper fucking plate for this bad boy. Not a paper plate. High Phoenix Rises. Look at it. Look at it. I'm Mexican, so you have to take my Ladies word for it. Fair enough. Them, Fair enough. I give to I'm sorry. What was... I keep missing stuff. Ladies, gentlemen, they, them, pronouns, etc. I give to you... Uh... uh that's an attempt, I guess. Uh, the ponchos. Loaded. <laughs> Dorito. Chimichanga. Somewhere with that one. Hold the fucking phone. Oh, oh. 
Oh, oh, he's just going down. He's like, he's like, you know what? This plate's not gonna hold this sucker. I better just bring myself to the chimichanga. The, if if the chimichanga won't come to me, I'll just have to come to the chimichanga. Oh fuck me, that's good. Oh fuck me, that's <laughs> whoa, good. Whoa, whoa, where are we going? Oh my fucking god, you too. You too. Oh my god. Chimichas. Look at that. Look, 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 look at it. Cross uh, section. What is even in there? Just regular burrito stuff? Good god. The following video contains sounds of a bottle of eating food. View. How, could, how could you ever pick this angle and just be like, yep, this is it? His discretion is advised, but not followed. Oh god, he's drooling all over it! Ew. Well, just put it in a bowl at that point. Just, just like get like a food processor. Just give it a couple of chops, and you could just eat it like a bowl. Pros, fucking amazing taste. Cons, the shell, not as crispy as I'd like it to be. Oh, that's one. But I didn't want it to fall apart in the last video, <laughs> so. Tell me the pros and cons about taking a burrito and turning it into a Bud Light Doritos chimichanga. I had to do what I had to do. Overall, I'm not complaining. I turned out pretty decent. What, do we, what have we learned for next time? What are you, a fucking werewolf? <laughs> what is this? What the what the fuck is this? What are you, Shrek? <laughs> good God! So yes, yeah, so I'd have to give this a 10 out of 10. The flavor's really good. I like the cheese. Everything about this is just... Yeah. Dude's gone feral! Please. Thank you for watching. Oh my God, he doesn't even make a fucking dent in it. Didn't even make a dent in it. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. He's eating like he'll never see it again. <laughs> That's crazy. What a climax, right? That was really... It all led up to a big event. Oh my god. Ugh. Boiled in microwave chimichang. <laughs> Mexican classic. Oh my god. That's, that's crazy. Thanks so much to Boglum Chronicles for fixing that audio there to make it actually watchable. That was... Oof. Oof. Are we really at the stage now? Well, actually, we've been there where he's just taking, like, already made food products and just, like, boglifying them. Like, you remember when he had, like, I, I don't know if his dad bought him a couple of, like, subs from the grocery store, a couple of, like, pre-made Italian sandwiches, and he spent, like, three days turning them into the most, like, horrific things you've ever seen. <laughs> well, now, I gotta see real quick. Chimichanga. Okay, oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. So what you're saying makes sense now. Deep fry. So was I thinking of a fucking enchilada then? Okay, that this makes a lot more sense. Enchilada is in like the sauce, maybe? Okay, this is what I was thinking of. Thank you. Thank you. Understand. It's got the goopy sauce. Oh, there's some scallions? Nice, nice, nice. Or a wet burrito. Ah, oh, okay. Getting pretty hungry on a bunch of Cobra really gets you, you know? Really gets you going there. Uh, wow, that's 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 all I got on that. He's he's uh he's still making these more more food hacks. I demand more food hacks, Cobra.